What's up, Crypto Crew, and welcome back, or if this is your first time, I'm Captain Crypto Might, actively escaping the Matrix, scoping out the crypto ocean, so if you like your odds, get on the boat, stay up to date, thumbs up, and join the hunt. Into the boat! Crypto Crew, we're early in Q4 of October, as it is commonly known in crypto. Maybe by the end of this month, we can hopefully call it Castober. To kick things off, Crypto Crew, here's a bullish statement from U.S. President Donald Trump. We're not highly levered anymore. Now, with that being said, we'll pay back debt, but we all we also might make a distribution to the people, almost like a dividend to the people of America. How much are you thinking for that, sir? Well, we're thinking maybe a thousand to two thousand dollars. Be great. Now, if you live in the U.S. and you are gifted this $1,000 or $2,000 amidst this bull run with the next leg looming, what would you use this money on? Would you invest in Casper? Stay tuned because you will hear some usual suspects making bullish statements that alludes to this next phase of the bull run, which is even bullish for Casper. Welcome to the FOMC meeting. The rate cut will be hodl your Caspa. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Caspa is a digital asset, and like all investments, you must protect them, crypto crew. Self custody is key, and in our opinion, the Tangent Wallet is your best option. Get 10% off using code Crypto Crew. Thanks so much for your consideration and support in advance, and may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you all. Talking about you know this long term 2028 price tag of Bitcoin around 3.2 million. You say very clearly at the end of that um, you know post that hey guys like i'm not saying that that's what bitcoin's gonna hit but is that what bitcoin can hit by 2028 it can hit infinity right <laughs> <laughs> that's just mad i don't know um but i i just wanted to mentally check okay well if if this much money could be printed and you know here's one way it could happen is the the magnitude there so that you're directionally right and you can be you know you can fuck around with a lot of stuff if you bought something at a hundred thousand and it goes to a million two million three million whatever the price is you're allowed to make a lot of mistakes but if you're you know in something that doesn't have the potential to have that sort of magnitude of upside then obviously it's much more difficult to to earn a positive return crypto crew still there are these talks about a quarter million bitcoin and even a one million dollar btc like arthur hayes prognosticates which is bullish for crypto as a whole especially for bitcoin holders then there are some bitcoin ogs who want bitcoin to fulfill satoshi nakamoto's original purpose one of these ambassadors is twitter co-founder jack dorsey who caught up with some prominence including elon musk you know one of the things that we tried to do which x and paypal also tried to do is build an abstraction layer around this complication and make it work for people. But when I saw Bitcoin in 2009, you see a chance to replace the whole foundation. We're built with very different agendas in a very different time frame, and it's crazy that they still exist and yeah. they have scaled, but they just are not relevant to today. And they're certainly not relevant to the future, especially when you consider the entire world and countries like Nigeria or Ghana or India and its interconnection with countries like the United States and Canada and all over Europe. If the internet gets a chance to get a native currency, what will that be? And, and to me, it's Bitcoin because of those principles, because of that creation story, because of its resilience, uh, because of the number of tests it's been. But what inspires me the most is just community driving it. It's, it just reminds me of the early internet. It's the only reason that I have a career because I learned so much from people like we're building Bitcoin today. We all know Bitcoin lacks the scalability to act as a peer-to-peer -peer digital currency, needing layer two solutions such as the Lightning Network, which basically gives up decentralization. And so in reality, Crypto Crew, Caspa fits this role much better from a fundamental point of view because of its blog DAG tech. Caspa can scale while staying decentralized and secure. Speaking of which, at the token 2049 Singapore, the founder of Caspa Finance, Finance, James Lee had a short sit down with Graham from Bitcoin.com. Shout out to them. We're marketed as the uh, flagship DEX for Casper. There are other DEXs that have sort of launched in parallel. We feel that we're slightly superior because we're V3, a lot of those are V2. It adds a different layer of complexity to the build, but um, also cheaper and faster transactions overall. So, yeah, it's better technology. Okay, so uh, a decentralized exchange, but Finance. So, yeah, essentially, we are super DeFi protocol. So, AMM DEX, yeah. like a Uniswap. Um, and then we've got a farming and staking pool where people add liquidity to a DEX, say, uh, in a market pair. 
they can then farm that liquidity um, and it gives them another, it adds a layer of stickiness to them and keeps them on the on the platform, but it gives them another earning potential as well. So farming in that uh, essence. And then I guess the finance side uh, comes from the borrowing and lending protocol as well. So we've also got an Aave style V3 borrowing and lending protocol that we include in that uh, suite of tools and uh, that'll be stood up shortly. So we're just uh, in the final stages of testing that and then uh, we'll get it audited and then push it live. I think, you know, when you're locking up people's uh, hard-earned crypto, you want to make sure that you've double audited or triple audited and tested it out and tried to break it before you sort of expand. And Casper Finance is just one example of what is being cooked at the moment. This is why I personally am invested into Casper for the mid to long term, yet many people are starting to lose their patience, even with all of the bullish catalysts that are about to unfold for Casper in Q4 and 2026 amidst Casper's first ever bull run. Now, if that isn't enough, listen to this next segment by Murad Mahmoudov, a guy who is a known meme coin investor and trader, and to my understanding, isn't invested into Caspa at all. I could be wrong about that. But listen to Murat's thesis on the future of crypto. I actually think the most lucrative assets are not the ones with revenues or cash flows or profit margins. In the future, and especially in the context of our industry, which is like relatively more open source, decentralized, fewer moats, fewer IP, I think every asset that drives its backing or value or utility or whatever from cash flows, that is going to be commoditized to zero or to like very, very thin margins. I call this investments as religions. That's the way I see it. And I say religion in, in a very wide term, very, very zealous, you know, passionate, almost like cult like groups of people, value system, belief system, you know, ethical system, you know, emotional adventure, journey, finding your people and all these things. This is also a product. I don't know if I'm the crazy one or people are stupid or what. They don't understand that these things, they're very valuable. Just because you can't touch it or it's not printing like dividends or whatever, that doesn't mean that it's zero value. In fact, I would argue in the future autonomous, like zero cost world of hyperabundance, the premium is actually going to shift to emotionality and spirituality. And that's my whole thesis for this cycle, right? But on 15 year horizons, I think everything that's to do with dividends, profits and revenues, that's going to have like a permanent technological headwind. Essentially, these things are going to be deflationary, not in the good sense of the word. And you're at, you're seeing examples of this with like Tesla and Apple. I'm sure you guys understand that a lot of their like giant value, like their, let's say the those corporations worth two trillion. It's probably not purely because of cash flow. Uh, it's probably because they have visionary leader, crazy community that's always like helping and supporting each other uh you feel like a part of this giant family giant trend you know you're saving the environment whatever it is you're doing but people love this kind of stuff whichever financial assets provide this to people the most this feeling of unity this feeling of solidarity this feeling of being like a digital fraternity the closer you get to this like divine like feeling the bigger you're going to be to turbocharge this even further you have this mission you know it's just it's, it never gets boring you wake up in the morning did we flip the stock market no so we continue persisting it's fun to be a part of this thing you know 99.999 percent of people in the world have still not even heard of this which is bullish because we haven't experienced this global parabola yet you always be want to bang on alts or whatever that have not had the parabola yet like the best time to join is when you're close to the parabola but it hasn't begun yet and you join and then it begins Crypto crew, I believe we're close to that parabola which has not begun yet. Not financial advice, but this is why we walk by faith, not by sight. Say what you want, but Murat Mahmoudov makes valid points. Some treat investments like a religion. Look no further than the Bitcoin community that has some of the most outspoken yet delusional and ignorant people around, casually copy-pasting words like immaculate conception, almost deifying Bitcoin as some sort of holy grail of crypto it is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. Now, in my opinion, Mura describes Caspa to a T. Recent polls prove the strength of the community, showing strong conviction, even long term, as most investors have hodled their Caspa coins for months. What sets Caspa apart from many of the other communities is that many people who are into cash actually study and research not just Caspa, but crypto all across the board. Many seem to make balanced decisions before investing in to Casper. Now, I might be overgeneralizing a bit. However, the point is that the conviction of many Caspians isn't just blind faith. Its faith is rooted in solid fundamentals and empirical evidence. That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the MVP! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! <laughs>
Now, obviously, that isn't the end-all be-all because in order for any asset to appreciate in value, especially a digital asset such as Caspa, it needs adoption. But because Caspa is fair launched without any VC and pre-mines, basically crypto like it was supposed to be, adoption takes time. The question for you, Crypto Crew, is will your conviction be strong enough to endure and hold your Caspa with conviction? Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Stick around. Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here on the crypto ocean. Grow in grace and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.